Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. We're wrapping up on the GTEC A20M color mixing 3D printer and we're going to start our first print. But we've got a couple of things we need to do first, like load the filament, level the bed, and prepare it for printing. And we're going to show you step by step on how to do that, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel. This is a two-part series featuring the GTEC A20M Color Mixing 3D Printer. And in the first part of the series, and you can watch that video here, we unboxed the printer and we assembled it and we got it ready for printing. Now we need to load up the filament, level the bed, prepare the bed, and we're going to print the object that was shipped on the SD card from GTEC just so we have a good idea of how the printer is functioning. But before we get started, again, a huge shout out to GTEC for sending over the A20M Color Mixing 3D Printer for us to test and review on the channel. And of course, we weren't compensated in any way for our unboxing, our review, or our opinion. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started and load up some filament. Before we start loading up our filament and leveling out the bed, one of the first things you might want to do when you turn on your 3D printer is check out all the menu options available to you in this particular flavor of Marlin for our GTEC A20M color mixing 3D printer. Now, the firmware for this printer has been updated to the most current version, so I have all the different color mixing options and there shouldn't be any issues when we are printing. So familiarize yourself with all the different places you need to make any settings changes and how to set up your color mixing, of course, and how that works as far as how you can set up your gradient and where you can do just basic color mixing. And once you familiarize yourself with all the menu options available for your 3D printer, it'll make it easier to do diagnostics. Now for loading up the filament, the first thing you need to do is remove one of the large plastic nuts from each of the sides of the 3D printer's mountings for the filament holders. Carefully slide on the roll of filament to make sure that the filament rolls over the top and towards the filament runout sensor and the extruder drive motor. Next, replace the plastic nut and tighten it down, but not too firmly because you don't want to strip out the threads because it is plastic. Take a small section of the filament and straighten it out before inserting it through the filament runout sensor and into the PTFE tube. Depress the lever on the side and slowly insert the filament until it starts to flow down the Bowden tube toward the hot end. Now carefully push the filament as far as it'll go through the Bowden tube down to the hot end. Next, remove the plastic nut from the other side of the filament holder bracket and slide on your second roll of filament and replace the nut. Remember not to tighten this too much because you don't want to strip the threads and make sure that your brackets are secure to the top upright of your 3D printer. Remember to straighten out a small section of filament before you insert it into the filament runout sensor and into the PTFE tube. Now depress the lever and slowly push the filament down through the Bowden tube until it reaches the hot end, just like you did with the previous color. Next thing you want to do is turn on those filament runout sensors. You can find them under the control menu, filament, runout sensors, and click to turn them on. Now that we have our filament loaded, the next stage is to level out the print bed. The first thing you're going to need to do is go over to your printer, click on the knob, and scroll down to the prepare menu, and then scroll to the auto home selection and click on that. This will set up the printer so we can start doing the leveling of the bed. Now go back to the LCD, click on the knob and go down to the prepare menu again, and click on the level corners command. This will set up the printer to go to each of the four corners of the printer so you can slide a piece of paper underneath between the nozzle and the glass surface and slowly adjust the knob corresponding for each corner until the paper slightly grabs. That way you know you have the nozzle height set at the perfect height for 3D printing on this particular surface. Go back to the LCD and click next corner and repeat the process for each of the four corners 
And you may want to do this a few times if you're unsure if the bed is perfectly level. I like to do it at least twice for my first print. And again, carefully slide the paper underneath the nozzle and adjust the knob that corresponds to each corner until the piece of paper grabs between the nozzle and the print surface. Back to the LCD for the next corner. Once you finish leveling the bed and you're confident in the bed surface, you can go back to the home screen and auto home your printer and get it ready for printing. Now before we start our first print, it's important that we clean off the print surface. Using a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, we'll carefully clean off the print bed to make sure there are no grease or fingerprints left behind during the assembly process. You'll probably want to do this after every couple of prints, just to make sure that your GTEC super plate is perfectly clean for printing. And of course, you can just let this air dry before you start your first print. Now take the included SD card that came with your 3D printer and insert it into the slot on the side of the bottom of the 3D printer. You can click on the LCD from here and go down to Print from SD. On the SD card should be a couple of test models. And ours was the dog model that features some of the color mixing capabilities of the GTEC A20M. It's going to take a few minutes for your printer to warm up because the print bed has to warm up along with the nozzle. And once it gets to the perfect temperature, it'll run out a purge line to make sure both colors of filament are working properly before starting the print. Now pay special attention to that first layer as it prints. You're going to want to make sure that it's perfectly level on the print surface. If there's any issues, you can either stop the print and re-level the bed, or you can slightly adjust each of the knobs in the corresponding corners to where you see an issue on your first layer, and then let the print continue. Since our bed was perfectly level, our first layer looks really, really good, and we're going to let the print finish. Once the print finishes, just let the heated bed cool off and you'll be easily able to remove the model without any tools. Our print looks amazing and I really can't wait to start printing more with this really cool color mixing 3D printer. Well that about wraps it up for our two part series for the GTEC A20M color mixing 3D printer. We got our printer out of the box, we assembled it, we prepared it for its first print, and we printed the test model that shipped on the SD card and the results were stunning. Now we're ready to slice up our own models and do some cool color mixing and two color models for our test and review, which you guys will see in the next coming weeks. Again, a huge shout out to GTEC for sending over the A20M color mixing 3D printer. I really can't wait to play with this printer a little bit more and print out some really cool stuff. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out that Patreon link and all the other affiliate links and other ways you can support the channel down in the description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon.